but you guys got another video here for you this is a quick video on how to create a bootable uh, USB flash drive for Hiren's boot CD now someone commented this on my last video when I showed uh, booting up on a USB flash drive with Hiren's boot CD so I thought I'd make a quick video to share to do it it's pretty easy to do now the program I'm going to be using is a program called Rufus it's a free tool I think that's how you pronounce it and what this does is it allows you to create bootable uh, flash drives it's pretty easy to do and you can do some other stuff with it now it's not just for Hiren's boot CD it's for Windows disks ISO images and all these other types of things that you can do with it okay so it's not just for one thing but it also claims to be one of the fastest now I have not tested this myself but it stacks up against some of the others as being the fastest at doing a Windows installation onto an actual USB flash drive there as you can see and that's pretty uh, quick so let me um, get this started anyway so what I'm going to do here is I've got Hiram's Boot CD on my desktop in a folder ok now I'm using 515.1 but you can use the latest version if you've got yours and I've also got the program already downloaded now this does work with all Windows operating systems and it also works with 32-bit and 64-bit versions ok so what I'm going to do here is right click on this and run this as administrator and now once I've done that you'll see it will put a device up the top here now you need to make sure that your device is plugged in and you are using the right letter here okay because any USB flash drives it could select the wrong one by by accident I don't know if that could happen but it could possibly happen so I am using this 4 gigabyte uh, flash drive here which is J so I need to make sure that is the correct one and it says it's okay there it's a 4 gigabyte capacity so that's a sign there and also I'm going to be using FAT32 okay now you can use NTFS here as well and also FAT and also XFAT okay so you've got some options here we can also check the device for bad blocks and you can do up to four passes if you wish I'm not going to bother doing that you've got some options here for format options quick format and also you can create an extended label and icons now the little drop down uh, button here that you can see is MS-DOS, FreeDOS, ISO image and SysLinux now we're going to be using ISO so I need to make sure it's selected on ISO and then this will give us a little browse tab here which we can actually use to browse for our ISO image so what I need to do here is browse towards my uh, desktop and I'm just going to quickly click on the users there right tech and then desktop and you can see a folder there called Hiram's Boot CD folder. I'm going to go in there and select that. Okay, so that's now selected and we're ready to go. So what I need to do here now is going to get about tab there and there's a log button here which we actually look at the log if you wish. Um, but I'm just going to actually uh, save this log if I wish and save it to the desktop. Close that off and then push start and that's going to actually give me a warning sign to say it's going to format that J drive just make sure that it's still the right drive it's going to format the drive and prepare it ready for our Hiram's boot CD click OK here and now it start transferring that ISO image across to the actual thumb drive now this may take a little bit of time Okay, so that now's completed, and as you can see, that took about 19 minutes um, to do. So it takes a quite a while to actually uh, copy those across. So we can finish this off now by closing this. If we have a look at our pen drive itself, you can see that we've now got all of our files inside here. And all you need to do now is basically change your boot order inside your BIOS and boot to the actual USB thumb drive, and it will fire up, and away you go. So that's basically it really. So I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button. Also show your support by rating and favouriting my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the new year. So have a great night tonight guys. Happy New Year to everyone and I'll see you in the new year. So thanks again. Bye for now.